Hey, we have Martin Edwards ready for us anytime you're. Let's bring him on. All Let's right. bring him on. Hey, Martin, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, we're doing hey, fine. Hey, Marty, what are you doing down there, buddy? This is Scott. I'm up here in Colorado. We got rained out last night. Wish um, you were up here with us. We're trying to um, get everything back going and get ready for this enduro race. Hey, hey, listen, uh, Martin, me and you've been friends for a long time now, and I just got word last week, so I'm not even really informed, but I am concerned when I hear that uh, there's an annex trying to be put on Devil's Bowl. Before we get into asking you a lot of questions, we just need to find out exactly what's going on. What's happening with this annex with Devil's Bowl? Okay, um, Texas, I guess, from what I've been told, is one of three or four states still left in the country that has what they call forced annexation, which means if they want to piece the property, if it's in their ETJ, they can take it. Without a vote, without anything, they just, we want to annex it, have three public hearings kind of telling everybody they want it and they're going to take it, and they can take it. This year... Why do, in, first of all, let me in, ask you this real quick. Let me ask you this real quick, though, Mark. Why do they want to take it? It, it? Do they want to take the whole facility or, or just a part of the property? Um, they, Our property is just a part of it. But this annexation, it goes from us, most of unincorporated Lawson Road that we're on, all yep. the way up to 80, almost the end of 40, almost to my house. They go over to High Point 20 because um, they already got land over there, and they're reaching almost all the way to our other track there in Crandall. So they Holy are they cow. trying to take, yeah, they're trying to take a pretty good chunk of land right now. And what do they, they what uh, do they want to do with it? Future development and tax tax dollars. I mean, it price tax break it down. They want tax dollars right now. All they want to do is bring it into the city limits. So as far as they don't have to pay anybody anything oh. because they're oh, not boy. taking any land. All they're doing is taking it under city li- from county to city limits for tax dollars. So what you're telling me is, is that they could just close you down, take your property all the way back to the pits, and not give you any money, and you're just screwed. Well, the closing they won't close us down. What they'll end up doing is just putting a whole bunch of regulations on you to force you out to where you Mm. close down and then you sell to somebody else. All right, buddy. Listen, let me know what we can do. Now, is there any place that anybody can go and and do anything online to help your cause with this annexation? Is there anything they can do? Flood City Council and the mayor of Mesquite, Texas with emails saying how close you are to it and just let them know because the worst thing a politician hates is people being mad at them. 